Well, welcome to another episode of Let the Truth Be Told. My name is Sean Williams, and I'm so excited to be back in the studio once again uh, with my good friend Herbert Burnett, um, our good guy behind the studio and the screen. Jason, I thank the Lord for you being able to tape this program for us today. And everybody that, that watches on our social media page, I really appreciate you guys tuning in and pausing your day to be with us. And all you per people that's out there in, uh, in television land that, uh, that watch us every Sunday night and that run up to us throughout the week and say, man, I watch a TV program every Sunday night. I sure appreciate it. So, uh, man, Hub, uh, things, we, 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 we had a great show last time. Uh, a lot of response out of our, our television program. We've been going and we've been getting it in, ain't we, man? We've been, we've been, rolling. We've been rolling. So we got a lot going on in the community. And, uh, but, but introduce yourself to the, to, the, to, the, to the viewing and the listening quick, audience. Herbert Burnett, Suits by Soldier. Uh, glad to be here on Let the Truth Be Told. Uh, for all you who pray for my mom, we just got back from St. Louis. Um, they, uh, she had a pinched nerve and some other things, and on the way back, she said she didn't have the pain, so the um, surgery was a success, okay. and thank you for all of you who prayed for my mama. Oh man, oh man, you know, uh, I know you feel the, the, about, like your mom, about, with, about your mama, like I feel about my mama. Amen. I was able to uh, be over to my mom's house and, uh, and take a, and take a uh, I was able to take take a good photo with my mama, mm -hmm. photo op on Sunday, and uh, a lot of people said uh, I look like my mama, Amen. and you know, you and so like so it. I really appreciate it. I, I sure appreciate it, man. Um, so so thank God for blessing you guys to be uh, have traveling grace and make it back right. um, safely with your mom. Mm -hmm. You know, I thank the I thank the Lord for uh, for Bishop and Sister Underwood for allowing us to use uh, the church and the yes. facility yes, um, to be able to do our stock market yes. class on yes. Saturday. So that's that's a, a good blessing. I mean, they ain't asking us for a quarter. Not a and so day. not not a quarter. So I really appreciate you guys believing in us mm -hmm. to be able to share that information with the community. And so and it's growing. Oh man, oh man. So so so, so tell us a little bit. How's it growing? How are we growing? Oh, I, I guess we started with about um, probably seven or eight uh, youth, and it grew to about twelve, and kind of hit and miss with the pandemic. Yeah. And then since the shots and everything has came, uh, you had the vision of opening up to adults. And we probably had about 15 to 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, um, so it's definitely been growing. I've been excited about it growing, um, seeing people get this, get this, uh, get this knowledge. Um, I've been excited about seeing people get the knowledge, information that's going to make them better, mm -hmm. um, information from these young people, and, and and a lot of our young people that's been in that class, they've actually been able to take that information back and inspire moms and dads mm -hmm. to start doing to to be financial literate. Oh yeah, you know. So well, we got some moms and dads coming because the kids were coming. Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah. And they asked to be on the group chat. Yeah, you can't so, get you can't yeah. you can't have your kid running yeah. around the house all yeah. excited and you trying to find out, man, he taking his tools and yeah. fuse, she taking a few yeah. tools and fuse and excited about the you know the future, yeah. excited about college yeah. and you know one young lady yeah. <laughs> she didn't got offers for about three different colleges yeah. and so uh and and so we're, we're uh, one young man he was he, what we call that an introvert mm -hmm. and now he's an extrovert yeah, and mm -hmm. so uh so he's he's found his place in life yeah. so so I'm really excited about some of the stuff that we got going on man and uh it's a it's a it's a beautiful uh time to be in the stock market um uh, I'm I'm just so excited and I and I just want to just make people uh see what I see, but yeah. you just got to be patient. What I love about it is my go-to stock did really well today. Mm -hmm. So I heard from people. Mm -hmm. And when you hear from people and they, and, 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 and they excited, you see, I want some, I want some people to celebrate with me. Yeah. yeah. Right. When my stock go up, I know I'm getting phone calls Yeah. because I done shared it. Uh, and, 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 and I got a group chat with my coaches. And, and, and they're in the stock market, but they haven't caught on to this one stock yet. So every time it blows up like today, I, I, I send it to them. Yeah. You ain't in there yet, hon. You're hard-headed. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's, pretty soon they're going to catch on. Yeah, yeah. Pretty soon they're going to catch on, yeah. you know. And so um, uh, some of my kids then got really active. I sent them some of my top days, and they... And, and you know you have to show people. Yeah, yeah. You have to show people. Yeah. You can talk all you want, but 
uh, people say seeing is believing, but seeing is knowing. You know, uh, you know, God is amazing because just to just to we haven't practiced this at all, you know. Mm -hmm. And so just the backdrop of the conversation is going to lead us to what our topic is exactly. today. Exactly, ain't that amazing? Ain't I that amazing? And so, uh, so. Um, our, our topic today is ain't nothing like your own. Ain't nothing like your own. Ain't nothing like your ain't own. You know, like back own. in the day, back in the day, I, I was raised around a lot of old people, and a lot of the old people said, God bless a child who has his that own. got his own. Mm -hmm. And so I, that stuck with me, you know, all of my life. You know, I didn't know what they were talking about at that moment. Mm -hmm. And I, I thank God for those older folks, uh, Miss Essie and all, all those older folks who were in my life. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, my grandmama, you know, Mr. Owens, and so many different other people that played a role on the block, just the older folks on the block <clears throat> that would say, God bless a child that yeah, got his own. own. Mm -hmm. And so I've, I've mentioned that in, in various uh, circles and platforms that I've been on mm -hmm. and where I've talked about, um, you know, owning businesses mm -hmm. and I've been in all kinds of different circles and groups mm -hmm. where folks come in and want me to mm -hmm. conversate and talk about business and, mm -hmm. and, and entrepreneurship and all of those different things. And I don't say it in a braggadocious way. Mm -hmm. I try not to mm -hmm. say it in a braggadocious mm -hmm. way like I'm so, so, so such a much or mm -hmm. better than the other mm -hmm. folks. Mm -hmm. I try not to, um, but I'm excited to be on my own. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm blessed mm -hmm. to be on my own. I thank God for having an opportunity to be able to serve other mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. and be able to have a, a business mm -hmm. on my own. Um, but I want folks in this segment to understand why that's so very important and why I feel the way I feel. And so, um, so because I, some people take it the wrong way. Yeah, and so you've expressed that. I've had a few other people that express that, mm -hmm. and I think. And, and I think what what happens is when I say something, some things like that, mm -hmm. and you working a nine to five, mm -hmm. or you working like one of like my, I, I talked to one of my nephews mm -hmm. the other night when I went and got something to eat, and I said, man, I'm tired, man, I got up early, and I was like, man, I got up at six thirty this morning, and you know, to get get started, mm -hmm. and he's like, man, I've been up early since uh, three thirty this morning. Mm -hmm. This is my second job. Mm -hmm. Now that was about ten, that was the other night after we got out of class. Mm -hmm. That was and that was that we got out of class at nine. That was about nine thirty. Mm -hmm. He was on his second job. Mm -hmm. So some people, I mean, some people got two twelve hour shifts right. that they work. Right. Right. You know, working yourself mm -hmm. to the bone mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. And what I've heard a, a scholar of mine say, ends never meet. Mm -hmm. And so I, 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 um, sometimes when you go through something, right, Brother Hub, mm -hmm. you think um, that the world's coming to an end mm -hmm. at that moment, mm -hmm. you know. And so I wrote down various jobs that I had over the years, mm -hmm. you know. Um, when I got out the military, um, not knowing what to do, I, I, uh, me and my family moved to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I started, um, actually, moved to, actually moved to Atlanta, then we moved to Detroit. And because my uncle and Mr. Owens and them, I had to help him as a kid, I learned some roofing skills. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So one of the jobs that I had got was roofing mm -hmm. in Detroit. Mm -hmm. So I learned it from a guy that ended up saying, hey man, look, I'll show you the ropes. Mm -hmm. He had contracts from Sears back then. Sears back then didn't just sell clothes, they did roofing and all kinds of other different stuff. And so when I got back down to Atlanta, I couldn't find a job. I told the guys, I, I sound something in the paper because it was different than Indeed and ZipRecruiter and all this different technology stuff. Now, you look in the paper and I seen a roofing job and I called the guy, the guy said, come on out here by Alpharetta. I ended up getting a roofing job. He ended up putting me on the job. I ended up doing that for a while. But while I was over my sister's house, they um, a lot of guys from Champaign, Herky Hendricks, Oscar mm -hmm. Brooks, mm -hmm. Kenny Brooks, and them guys, they worked that crab. Mm -hmm. They said, man, fill that application mm -hmm. out. I filled that application out. I didn't have a car. I walked about four, five, six miles mm -hmm. in a suit. Mm -hmm. You know, anybody know Atlanta walking in a suit, you got to be determined because it's about 85 degrees outside, in the man. Shade. <laughs> and so I walked there, but mm -hmm. I had a family mm -hmm. that I know needed me. Mm -hmm. I had a baby in the bassinet and a baby in a stroller and a wife at the house. Mm -hmm. So I walked over there, talked to the guy, mm -hmm. I told him I was in the mil I had been in the military. That always gonna give you an extra, 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 extra few points mm -hmm. because they know you know how to get up on time, you know how to be there, you know how to work hard, you don't, you know how to follow orders, all of those things. So I went on ahead and I got, I, I ended up getting the call and got that job. I worked, I put 60, 70, 80 hours a weekend part time, mm -hmm. and then finally they gave me a full time position. Mm -hmm. That mean after about, well, I did that for about six months then, and then within that 
full-time position, you go back to a 90-day probationary period. Well, it started snowing within that 90 days. Mm -hmm. and, um, and because we got a new um, plant manager in, mm -hmm. and back then we didn't know what a Trump supporter Look like right, right. <laughs> he probably right now is a, a Trump, Trump supporter, supporter. yeah. <laughs> right. And he changed the dynamics of the whole plan. Mm -hmm. Got rid of everything that didn't look like him. Mm -hmm. And I was one of them guys. Mm -hmm. He for being how late? He fired me for being two minutes late. Mm -hmm. so and it was a snowstorm, so blizzard going on. So when you talk on. about having your own, that's a trigger. <sighs> it was trauma. That's a trigger. Here you is, got a family, and. And you was two minutes late in the snow. Some people didn't even show up. You was faithful and showed up, and he fired you. So that lets you know, man, I'm working. I'm dedicated for this company. And, man, he fired me like I was nothing. Like I That's was, a trigger. Like I was nothing. That's a trigger. Like I was nothing. I never, I never had a bad write-up when I was even in the Army mm -hmm. for six years. Mm -hmm. Never, ever, ever, ever had a bad write-up. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, the uh, Fort Bragg's, Top NCO, Sergeant mm -hmm. Major said, I did better on my PLDC mm -hmm. um, interview mm -hmm. than he had seen any soldier do. Mm -hmm. So I knew how to follow instructions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, and then when I took that skill on the job, man, they knew I knew what I, what I knew. Mm -hmm. But they didn't care about my family. Mm -hmm. They didn't care about my baby that was in that bassinet. I can cry right now on mm -hmm. that because mm -hmm. it traumatized mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. And it changed the dynamics of my life at that moment. Mm -hmm. I ended up getting a divorce behind mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So when I talk about it's nothing like your own. Right. It, yeah. Yeah. You, what it is is, Sean, I used to do the same thing. And one time the Lord said, hold on, tell the whole story. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I never forget. I would call my dad. My, 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 my uh, mentor was a gentleman in Texas of Ar Arabic descent. Mm -hmm. He told me to get out. I had like 13 years in, 14 years when I opened my store and it was doing good immediately because I knew everybody. Yeah. And I called home and my dad said, you ain't got but six years left. Yeah. Don't finish that up. You know, and then um, get your pension yeah. and then you can get out. Right. So, of course, I listened to him. Um, but I never forget I didn't tell nobody I had my store, mm -hmm. but it got so hot, my name started ringing. I, you know, we was doing commercials, and yeah. I put it in the, Arm, in the Army Post newspaper. Yeah. And so one day, my colonel called me in there. And I'm talking about, I had been in business about two years. I'm feeling myself now. Yeah, yeah. It took y'all two years to find <laughs> out. And he said, Sergeant Burnett, what do you think you're doing with a clothing store? You're in the Army. I said, in all due respect, sir, what do you think you're doing with Lieutenant Colonel Rack? rank. You, you, you an officer. I ain't mad because you're a commanding officer and I got to salute you. You mad at me because I got, because I'm thinking ahead. I'm doing forward thinking. Mm -hmm. And I know as soon as I get 20 years, I'm out of here. Yeah. And I really ain't trying to work for nobody nowhere else. But like you, I, 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 um, I, I lost a lot in the military. Yeah. I, I had a 28-year relationship, 24-year marriage going on. Yeah. I got PTSD for the rest of my life. Yeah. I put up with a whole lot of stuff to have my own. Yeah. And it ain't about being rich. Yeah. It's about when my mama called me two weeks ago and said, look, I got to be in St. Louis Monday and Wednesday. Monday, I got to be there at 11. Wednesday, I got to be there at 6 in the morning. Mm. So two days ago, Monday, we went to St. Louis, came back. I went. I was running so late. I had to go. She had to drop me off in real estate class. Right. Woke up Tuesday, full day basketball game last night. Senior night. Senior uh, night yeah, last yeah. night. Went home. Got home about ten. Yeah. Eight. Was back up at two a.m. in the morning. Yeah. On uh, coming to get her to take take care of my mama. That's rich to me. Yeah. I ain't gotta have a million dollars because God has given me my own and I'm able to move the way I need to move. You know, it's no better feeling. And let me say this. The part that we have to send a message to, let me, two things. Man, I work a nine to five right now. If I choose to, I ain't got nothing against a nine to five. Mm -hmm. If the right teaching job come, up, uh, uh, come open where I can work with the community and I can work 
uh, with the staff and 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 because we got a whole lot of problems uh, with race. Mm -hmm. If I could be a lazon or something like that, I don't mind working no nine to five. Mm -hmm. You gonna pay me, mm -hmm. right? Because I'm cold. But I don't. I ain't against the nine to five. Mm -hmm. But it's gonna be something that I choose, mm -hmm. and it's gonna be because I want to work it. It ain't gonna be because I need to work it. Right. You see what I'm saying? And so the other part of that message is. Work on your plan. If it's something deep down in your heart that you know you want to do, work on your plan. Yeah. I worked on my plan for 20 years. Well, 14 years before I got my own. Yeah. And the other thing is, and you're going to hit it, so I'm going to just get on and get off of it. When it talks about a good man will leave an inheritance for his children's children, you can't, Mark Pelmore, shout out to Mark E. Mm -hmm. Mark Pelmore, done wrote over 50 books. Mark Pelmore, we were sitting here chopping it up in here one day, two years ago, talking about this same subject. Mm -hmm. And out of Mark's mouth says, you can't inherit a nine to five. Now, you done done a whole lot of funerals. And I know you done looked at the wheels and all that. I don't think in one wheel somebody left a nine to five. It's, it, 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 a lot of a lot of these a lot of these uh, jobs, like say, like some of the guys as carpenters for the University of Illinois, where I've heard where they bring they about to retire, mm -hmm. and they would say, "Hey, look, mm -hmm. here go my son. Right, right. Let him take my spot." Mm -hmm. Now I've I've heard that mm -hmm. happens mm -hmm. because things happen around mm -hmm. here in the good old boy system, mm -hmm. but everybody ain't treated like a good old boy. That's right. That's I'm right. just gonna keep it That's 100. Right. right, right. You know, when you when you can bring in, you can be chicken wing, mm -hmm. and go take your son to your office. Mm -hmm. <laughs> y'all mm -hmm. got y'all y'all mm -hmm. got two three mm -hmm. businesses mm -hmm. going up mm -hmm. out of there, mm -hmm. and make him empower him, empower him, empower him mm -hmm. that your name across the top. Mm -hmm. It ain't nobody else's mm -hmm. name. Your name mm -hmm. across the top. Mm -hmm. Y'all name. Y'all see. It's across the top. And, and, and real, I'm gonna show, throw this in there, and, and you continue on. A lot of people, and this kind of off the subject, but I'm gonna give it to you because it's free. A lot of people, a, 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 a lot of people think power is to control people. God bless you with power to empower. You see what I'm saying? And so, use your eight to five or your nine to five. You know what I did with my army? I used the army to fund my dreams. I, my concepts. I used the army for 14 years to fund my dreams. And then I, I worked the army and a job. Mm -hmm. My daughter is a lawyer right now, corporate lawyer, doing very well, but she's not content with it. She done got all into real estate. Why? Because she ran my shop from the age of 12 to 18. That was her training. And so when she interviewed the Lord, they said, man, how did you learn all this? Is your parents lawyers? She said, no, my daddy taught me this working at the shop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, I got a training ground. I got a young man right here. He don't know how cold he going to be just hanging around. He ain't even focused. He ain't even thinking about this shop. But just the, the quality people to come in and out of here every day that he lay eyes on and he open up his ears is changing his whole paradigm. He don't even know it. The Bible say he that had an ear, let that him ear. hear. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. Boy, that word hitting up in there as soon as you hit that button. Yes, sir. You know, uh, the one of the things that you talked about, and you talked about the time, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, in financial literacy, mm -hmm. we learned time freedom. Mm -hmm. You're buying your time mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times we don't understand mm -hmm. what that means. Mm -hmm. You're buying your time mm -hmm. back. Once you get the bread, mm -hmm. you can buy your time mm -hmm. back. So mm -hmm. now you got the freedom mm -hmm. to move around the way you want mm -hmm. to. So well, you don't have to ask Mother May I. You got mm -hmm. your mama told you what she needed. It's a done deal. What she told you what she it's needed. A done deal. You, who did you have to go to? It's to ask? a done deal. You know, I had to write myself up. Because <laughs> my, 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 my worker, my employer, my partner had a heavy test yeah. that he had to take. So he said, man, I need the day off. And so I had to write myself up, no call, no show. Yeah. I had to write myself up. You, Herbert, what do you think you're doing not showing up to work? I'm sorry. You better not do it again. Okay. 
I had to play both roles. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and, 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 and so, and, and then I'm, a, and I'm throwing this in there. Don't let me take the program yeah. off, but I got to say this because it's in me. Because oh, I had a good day today. You, you she is clown you today. Got you right? Got so my mama going in her wallet time. Oh, I got to pay. You don't put gas. You don't fed me. Let me give you something. I said, yeah. no, no, mom. Robin Hood paid me today. <laughs> Ameritrade t- paid me today. What am I saying? They really done messed up yeah. now. Yeah. I've been getting money all my life, but now you done turn me on to the stock market and I understand it. Time freedom. Time it's freedom. It's over with. And I'm letting everybody know that I know that I think want to know. Ken Jenkins, one of my good friends, I married him and his wife. I said, you know, he's he was joking. I said, no, I'm serious, man. We need to sit down and talk, man. Yeah. Because ain't no way I, I, this thing is really blessing me. So, and and you hold on. And, and, and you a good dude. You always been a good dude. You always we always we come up together. I turn you on to refereeing because you're a family man and you're a great family man and you're a great father man. I want you to get some of this. Not play with it. You playing with it. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna show it to you in the, the Bible say in a more excellent way. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, you can take, you know, I, I, I zoned out for six months. That's why I ain't going to knock nobody with no job. I, I saw a house I wanted. The man told me he was going to sell me the house in six months to the year. I went and Ubered six months straight. Right? And, and, and so I didn't have to touch home. I didn't have to touch home money. Right? Never going to trip about you having a job because I was Ubering in a Land Rover and a Benz. Right, I was Uber. They was getting money, my, getting my in the winter. They was getting my stuff, money. Right, Throw, threw up in the in the uh, Land Rover one time, but I had a plan. Yeah. So I'm not knocking nobody's nine to five, your yeah. eight to five, but have a plan yeah. to leave an inheritance for your children's children. Yeah, but you know, even even that is it. It, it, it teaches entrepreneurship principles, right? I mean, because you, it's time flexibility there. You can work around a schedule. Yes, sir. Nobody has to be. Yes, you don't have to. You had nobody yes, sweating you. No. You know, you had nobody no. to do me like yeah. do yeah. me like the man did me. Right. You know, right. and say right. you want you two minutes late. Right. Right. You two minutes right. late. Matter of fact, right. go home. Get your right. stuff. Right. Never come back. Never come back. You know, like you was nothing. Yeah. And, and so that still triggered. And oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. I told you I almost got teared up mm-hmm. even talking about mm-hmm. it because I could still see my mm-hmm. kids. Mm-hmm. Now they grown. Now they they in their thirties now. Mm-hmm. But I remember when they was babies, mm-hmm. and I remember the conversations mm-hmm. that we had. Mm-hmm. I remember the uncertainty that mm-hmm. I had. Mm-hmm. I remember the, I remember mm-hmm. the feeling that I had mm-hmm. to go back and mm-hmm. tell your wife mm-hmm. that you don't have no means mm-hmm. of income to be able to help the family anymore in a big city like Atlanta. Mm-hmm. So what that did for me, um, I ended up I ended up uh, uh, going down, um, leaving Atlanta, coming back to Champaign. Mm-hmm. Coming back to Champaign, I, I, I knew it, I didn't really want to be here, and we ended up going to Atlanta, mm-hmm. uh, going to California. Mm-hmm. Went out to California, I never did know I had another skill. See, the Bible said your gift, gifts, your gifts, gifts. your gift, mm-hmm. I make room, room for, for you. you. So I and it and, and it did say I messed up. It didn't say plural. It said a gift. gift. So it's a gift. So Michael Jordan started off in basketball, but now he's selling shoes, draws, all that. Because going because. But his one gift. One gift. Go open up. A, it's going it, your gift. Gonna make room for you, and then and, and, and the room can expand. Mm-hmm. What you talking about expansion? Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you walked into your mm-hmm. you walked in mm-hmm. you walked you walked into your gift. Mm-hmm. So what happened is that I got out there. Um, I didn't really have a job. Um, I was looking for one. Um, my ex brother in law at the time, he, I cut. He said, "Man, come on, cut my hair." I laced him up real good. Went to go shoot some ball. Dude said, uh, "Dude said, dang man, who cut your hair? We was getting the water break. Who cut your hair?" He's like, "Man, my brother in law over there cut my hair." Dude said, "Man, bro, you know you could cut." Mm. He said, "Man." He said, man, you ever thought about cutting hair? I said, no, I never really thought about cutting hair. He said, bro, he said, man, you ought to cut hair, man. I said, the barbers make some money because I need to make some money out here. Mm-hmm. He said, man, the barbers make a lot of money. I said, uh, he said, bro, he said, look, here goes somebody turning mm-hmm. somebody mm-hmm. on. Mm-hmm. He said, man, go down there, holler at these people mm-hmm. right here at this mm-hmm. one school and then holler at old girl. Mm-hmm. Went down there, holler at the old man. The old man said, look, I'm going to send you down to this barber shop mm-hmm. down here. And then she going to hook you up. Mm-hmm. You going to get enrolled at Abram Freeman's Occupational mm-hmm. Center, something that we need in this town right now. Right. 
right. teaching right. nursing, right. mechanics, barbering, right. cosmetology, right. 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 all kinds of different skills. Right. Mm -hmm. Got enrolled into there. Mm -hmm. The white guy that was working, that was running the barbering class, he had been a barber for 50 years. Mm -hmm. He said, man, you cold on the haircut side. Mm -hmm. He said, as a matter of fact, all you do is you stand for, you stay for the book work, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna release you to the shop. Mm -hmm. So then I got released to the shop. Mm -hmm. Start cutting hair in the shop, and then, and then a girl named Dorothy, she said, Sean, she said, you cold. She said, but a closed mouth don't get fed, baby. You gotta go out there and pass out some flyers. Mm -hmm. So I walked Halston Street, so you know where Nipsey Hustle mm -hmm. at right now. Mm -hmm. Halston and, and Slauson and all. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Slauson Slau Boulevard. Slauson and Crenshaw. <laughs> I'll be there in two weeks. So I was on Slauson and Crenshaw. Yeah. I was standing up by the post office down there. Yeah. There's a post office right there. Yeah. I went down there by that post office passing out cards, mm -hmm. business cards mm -hmm. everywhere, mm -hmm. flyers. Uh, my ex-wife at the time, she had, she had, uh, she had, she had her marketing paper, mm -hmm. paperwork on one side. Mm -hmm. We ain't had no money to get mm -hmm. no printing paper, right. and I pr she printed my other stuff on the other side of the used paper. Mm -hmm. So I would skid them to that, and I say, man, I'm right down here. First haircut on me for free. For free. In order I met. To keep it, you I met. Give it I met Anthony Smith mm -hmm. that played for the Raiders. Mm -hmm. I met man. I met um, um, entertainment mm -hmm. attorneys. Mm -hmm. I met so many different mm -hmm. people out mm -hmm. there just by conversation. Mm -hmm. Conversation ruled the nation. Mm -hmm. Closed mouth don't get fed. Mm -hmm. I remember I made my first three hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. in, inspirational. Mm -hmm. I ran into so many different people out there. And then that 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 segued me to go to Colorado. Mm -hmm. I went to Colorado and we used to cut hair for the military. Mm -hmm. And then I transferred and came on back to Champaign, got into a cosmetology school, um, what got, got most promising graduate out of there. At simultaneously, I was in a cosmetology mm -hmm. class. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so, and I was into, um, the community development program mm -hmm. with Mr. Hamburg and mm -hmm. um, Mr. Griggs and Tom Moore and um, and Mr. Page started. Mm -hmm. And so I hollered at Miel and told Miel, mm -hmm. bro, I'm working on mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. Cause I got a vision, mm -hmm. I got a plan. Mm -hmm. And so he teamed up with me, mm -hmm. which made me start mm -hmm. the whip, mm -hmm. you know? And so, um, so all of those things kind of transferred by walking into my mm -hmm. gift, mm -hmm. you know? Not to mention when I got back and I tried, to, before that happened, I worked for Airborne Express. Mm -hmm. I worked for Airborne mm -hmm. Express for a little bit around here, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, trying, trying to keep a job. And I told the guy, man, thanks for the opportunity, man, but I can't do that. I'm a barber. Mm -hmm. And we, we, this just dropped my spirit. So fear, is, fear jumps in yeah. there. We, but the Bible said we many members, but one body. Somebody got to have an eight to five. Somebody got to have a nine to five. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Right? Ain't nothing wrong with it. And so what, 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 what I when, pe when people come to me, because the pandemic, it's about 20 more business. It's about four or five clothing lines right here in town that were birthed in the pandemic. And they're doing well. You know what I'm saying? They're doing well. And so the thing is, is you can do both mm -hmm. if that's what you desire. If you contend with working the 8 to 5, ain't nothing wrong with that. You, it, 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 it's all about you being <coughs> happy. It's all about you being content. You the word you just said right mm -hmm. there, happy. Mm -hmm. So st statistically, because what does success look like? Okay, so so let, let me let me tell you statistically, mm -hmm. right? Statistically, mm -hmm. um, eighty percent of people who own a job ain't happy. That's on the job mm -hmm. is super mm -hmm. frustrating mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because. Mm -hmm. Let me put this in the right phrase because mm -hmm. we all church folks. Mm -hmm. Adam never was inherited a job. Mm -hmm. He was inherited a gift. Mm -hmm. God gave him a gift mm -hmm. to go out and mm -hmm. plow the land mm -hmm. and do this and do that mm -hmm. and plentify the land and mm -hmm. do this and do that. Mm -hmm. That was a gift. Mm -hmm. He didn't say, well, look, man, I'm going to bring some more people in and then they're going to build uh, some type of factory or town or mm -hmm. something. And then you just go in there and you just work and make a little, mm -hmm. little money mm -hmm. to feed your family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It wasn't set up like mm -hmm. that. So if that's the beginning, then we working off because that we the same people we working off we working off the inheritance mm -hmm. that that's the beginning mm -hmm. that's why you frustrated mm -hmm. because your gift cannot mm -hmm. be manifested mm -hmm. over here mm -hmm. across the street mm -hmm. because what they doing is using you mm -hmm. to manifest their gift mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying yeah no I, they I using you, you to manifest they mm -hmm. gift, and you study watching them. Mm -hmm. I mean, one day I had a guy working for me, right? I had him working for me, he, and so I, I told him, I said, uh, yeah, I said, I got so-and-so, so-and-so, and, -so, so -and -so, yeah, he worked for me. Mm -hmm. And he got 
ticked off. Yeah, yeah. He got ticked off because yeah. I said he was working for me. Yeah. He, yeah. You know what it, I'm saying? It, I'm, it, I'm, he got, prob- but if you notice, I said he worked with me. Yeah, I, t- I never I, said he worked I for said, me. I said he worked right. for me. He got right. ticked off. Right. But right. but at the same time, when yeah. you was over there at Dark, yeah. or Solo Cup, right. and you was over there working with them, man, you oh, man, no you, you couldn't wait to see the, uh, the uh, CEO yeah. pull up. He pull up in a, a drop top Porsche. You running out there, open the door for him. Got cold water for him. All this and this and that. But because <laughs> it's me, shy. come on, man. Familiarity breeds content. That's crazy. But see, yeah. we ought yeah. to. You, but yeah. just because I said that, it ought to yeah. be some. It ought to be some empowerment yeah. to say that, man. Look, this African American yeah. man yeah. went through the struggle. Right. Got his own business. Right. He's bringing me in. Right. I'm gonna learn as much as I can. I'm gonna right. push him to his desk. I'm gonna right. make sure that his business is successful. Right. Right. That's the mentality that we ought to have. Right. Right. But right. we just don't inherit that mentality because right. we'll go with somebody right. else. Let them dog right. us right. out. Right. Right. I mean, right. straight dog you right. out. You know you getting dogged out. Right. Matter of fact, we just seen one of the guys right. on the on, on Facebook Live just right. mentioned some stuff right. uh, for the last two days. Two days, three, two three or now. three days. Three he now. he been the third he been he's yeah. put something out there today. Yeah. Yeah. So I seen yeah. the last two days, yeah. Yeah. and he he hit it a third day. Yeah, he done hit it a third day. You know why? Because his gift. Some people ain't see when you talk about gift. Get if, if in order for you to find your purpose. You, you got to know what your gift is. Your gift is going to lead you to your purpose. And even though my daughter is making a nice six-figure income, she ain't, she ain't nowhere content because she's, she does con- she's a corporate lawyer. Mm-hmm. So she see the deals. And she see what 3.5% of $8 billion is. So that little 200 thousand they paying her yeah ain't nothing you see them saying and 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 because she ran the shop from this high she already got the entrepreneurial spirit she texted me the other day made me i I mean i'm proud of all of them but me and her we were in the business together for a long time the other kids dibble and dabble right but she sold you with me the whole rip right and so she saw um a, 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 a meme or a play or something about uh, uh, Serena Williams, mm-hmm. the guy was pressuring her and mm-hmm. the daddy came in and checked him. And she, when she saw that, she said that reminded me, her of me, the way I pushed her, mm-hmm. the way I made sure her self-esteem was intact. She was a set Burnett. But, but the truth of the matter is she had middle child syndrome. I had one boy, I had an older girl, and a younger girl. Queen was a baby, Mika was the oldest in the house, mm-hmm. and Hud was the only son, mm-hmm. right? So she used to cry. She re- got a real heart, tender heart. She used to cry because she felt like she didn't have no identity at a young age. And so I used to tell a girl, you the set by that. Yeah. You, girl, you set by that. Yeah. Right? And when I put in the shop, she was in the shop before 12, but I left her in the shop by herself at the age of 12. Yeah. When she got 12, I left and went and ref, right? And so I, 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 I used the shop to build her, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. And so um, that, that, that's why she ain't content with being no corporate lawyer. So, so, so most of the time when we get on a job setting, right, we go all in. Mm-hmm. We go all in because mm-hmm. we start learning. We start mm-hmm. learning the mm-hmm. learning the process, mm-hmm. learning procedure. Mm-hmm. Then we get good at it. Mm-hmm. You know, I remember being on the forklift mm-hmm. at Craft. Mm-hmm. I couldn't even I couldn't even drive a forklift. Mm-hmm. I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't put it in drive, mm-hmm. and I couldn't put it in reverse. Mm-hmm. I couldn't lift the pallet mm-hmm. up. I couldn't do none of that. Mm-hmm. But when I went in the back in the back of the warehouse, mm-hmm. um, I used to have to be at work at mm-hmm. eight, mm-hmm. but I would catch a ride with my brother-in-law mm-hmm. at six. Mm-hmm. So that's two hours of training that mm-hmm. I do on my own, mm-hmm. so I could get good right so then we got I got good at it mm-hmm. but I'm gonna tell you how your gift will make room for you mm-hmm. it's whatever you get good at right. right whatever you like doing right right so when you start liking and it's good to you and you happy about what you're mm-hmm. doing mm-hmm. and you working in your gift because you're happy mm-hmm. at what you're doing mm-hmm. so then you take that skill mm-hmm. now it might be something you working on a job mm-hmm. but something like a forklift mm-hmm. business mm-hmm. where you now you training other people mm-hmm. on the forklift mm-hmm. That's a business. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. People ask me all the time, they say, you know, I really want my own business, but mm -hmm. I don't really know what to do. Mm -hmm. And I tell people, I say, well, check this out. Anything that you find that people got a problem with, mm -hmm. then that's a business. Mm -hmm. Because what you do is solve problems mm -hmm. for people that don't want to handle it. That's right. That's all a business is. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. when you go out to West Champagne somewhere and you got an eight, ten bedroom home, mm -hmm. you know, four or five or six bathrooms, mm -hmm. you know, with all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. But you love cleaning people's mm -hmm. houses. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have no big old right. Right. trailer full of brooms mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. Just go down to the dollar mm -hmm. store. Mm -hmm. Go down, humble yourself, mm -hmm. go to the dollar store. Mm -hmm. Just get the, the basics mm -hmm. and then build it up mm -hmm. until you can get um, commercial cleaning equipment mm -hmm. and, 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 and buffers mm -hmm. and all this other mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Let me testify real quick. I opened my store, me and another guy, we went into business. We were selling out the trunk. Then, because he was, it had been in El Paso a long time, shout out to Bishop uh, A.T. Johnson from uh, Motor City, Detroit, YBIs. Right. Uh, shout out to you, Bishop, in El Paso, Texas. Young Brothers Incorporated. Young Brothers Incorporated. <laughs> he told me that story before they blew up, before yeah. the story came yeah. out. But uh, he had to do a presentation to his wife. He took a thousand, I took a thousand. We went into business. We set up at a barber shop for three, four, five months. But it wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't fast enough for me. He was cool with it. I wasn't. So I started going to all the clothing shows, the Magic Show in Vegas, Atlanta, the Cobb Show. And, and so... I start buying other stuff that I knew would sell. He's like, what's that? I said, man, this Hub's Hustle. This ain't, our, our store was called El Paso Haberdashery. Mm -hmm. One day I'm gonna have a haberdashery here. I'm telling my business, but one day I'm gonna, I'm gonna have suits by a soldier, but I'm gonna have a haberdashery too. And so to tell the story real quick, he ended up saying, buy me out, because I was focused, and he, I was putting in work going on plane tickets, yeah. right? Man, you ain't ready to go where I'm going. And he came right in there. I said, I prayed. I said, Lord, please let this guy uh, sell me his half, because he ain't ready, man. He's yeah. playing around, and I'm serious. Yeah. Within a week, he came in there and said, just buy me out. I bought him out, man, and within three months, I was rolling. And it never was about money with me. That's why I ain't tripping. Mm -hmm. That's I, it. Never was about money. I went home one time, and my wife at that time was in the dark crying. I said, "What's wrong with you? Cause we we getting bread. I mean, every, I'm in the army still. Yeah. We rolling. The name is getting bigger." And she said, "I want my living room and dining room back." <laughs> I'm like, "What are you talking about?" And I turn on the light. Shine. Shirts over there. Ties over here, shoes over here, cufflinks <laughs> over here. Everything was covered. I said, man, I got to get a building. And I had just read an article where it said true millionaires don't build. They don't think about money. They build a business. Mm -hmm. So if I was forced to, to get, get a, a, into a, a, a building, a, that's how you know it. When people ask me now, I say, you'll know when it's time. They start busting at the you, you, And so you so right with what you said. Start, start with a broom and a mop. Shout out to Shonda Brown. Yeah. The girl is cold. She done start, I don't know the name of it, but she done started a look, a uh, uh, business man. Conquer no fears, <laughs> man, and just get out there. Get out there, you know, just conquer no fears. Get out there, get it started, you know. Just get out there and, and it get it ain't. Let me say this again. Every somebody got to be at the courthouse. Mm -hmm. Somebody got to be at McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Somebody got to be at Popeyes. Mm -hmm. So I, I would never hate on the eight to five mm -hmm. or whatever it is. You know, is it that's just not how I roll. And I'ma throw this in and you finna take off with this. And it frees us up to go to the detention center. Mm -hmm. It frees us up to go to the financial literacy class. Mm -hmm. Right? And so it's, it's, it ain't about being rich. I'm rich. Mm -hmm. I'm rich, and, 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 and I'm a, I don't want to mess this up. I know what I want to say, but I want to say it correctly. When you can get up in the morning, Jason, and be led by the Spirit of God and don't have to check with man, you done made it. You see what I'm saying? When I can get up in the morning, right, and my wife get up, I watch put my on wife. whatever you want to put on. And you can move by the Spirit of God and you ain't got to check with no man. To me, I'm rich. It's freedom. 
It's freedom, man. It's freedom. And the Bible says what the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and this is me. I'm not pushing this on nobody else, man. Right? But when I can get up in the morning, I could go coach, right? And, and, and uh, one, one superintendent offered me a job, and they was appalled that I said, man, I ain't trying to work in no, but you went to school for 10 years, and I ain't trying to be in no classroom right now. Let me tell you, John Lee Johnson, and me and him didn't vibe on a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm down at the Legion one night. He's sitting at his table, probably got a crown on the rocks rolling, you know, sitting, on, sitting down at his table. Mm -hmm. He said, Sean, come here, let me talk to you, young man. Let me holler at you. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's going on, John? He said, man, Sean, let me tell you this, and don't you ever forget it. Mm -hmm. If a man pay you, mm -hmm. he's somewhat on mm -hmm. you. I marinated on that. Mm -hmm. That had to have been 15, 20 years ago, he told me But you me made me go to, I was just, <laughs> I thought I was just going to do the funeral and come back to the shop. You made me spend a whole nother hour at the cemetery, right? <laughs> but I was working for you. Yeah. I had to do, man, I'm hard. No, you signed a contract. You working for the man. Oh, no, we work for this family. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. But for, I'm working for you. Yeah, you work we, for the, we work and for so I'm saying and that, right I'm saying that yeah. for the viewing audience. Yeah. I still had, I didn't like it. Yeah. But my word, I gave you my word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I had to move the way you wanted me to move. Yeah. And I ain't got no problem doing yeah. that now. If the right teacher job come, where well, I can still do me and be a blessing to the community, because what I got y'all ain't got. Yeah. And I know you don't got it because I've been in there. And, 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 and since we down that road, because it's well, advantages let me, let me, let me, and it's disadvantages. And, and let me say this. Let me say this real quick. You, you hit it for a minute, then you got up. Uh, I call it the Kevin Jones, under the Kevin Jones Act. Kevin Jones, my cousin, grew up in Denmark Court, and he was a hard worker. We was working mm -hmm. at Taffy's, mm -hmm. and on a Saturday night after Illinois football game, Taffy's is nuts. Oh, yeah, yeah, They got yeah. a two-hour wait. No call, no show. The only one showed up was Kevin Jones. Kevin Jones messed around and handled the whole thing. And he was happy. Yeah, I did that. Guess what? They start scheduling Kevin Jones by himself, right? Working and, like a dog. And, and, and so they saved a whole lot of money. Mm -hmm. I tell my wife this all the he, time. He, he did. The, he did. Yeah. He did. One person I, did the I work. I tell. I tell my wife this all the time. Find the food. Bump their head. Don't you work like a dog just because you're intelligent? Let the mm -hmm. people use you like that. They get. I don't mind you working hard, but you got to. You got to uh, pay me. You got to compensate me. Cause if I'm doing two or three people's job, you're not gonna pimp. Man, pimping is over. Slavery is over. You know. And if you don't know your worth, this is why the point I want to drive home. If you don't know your worth, man, they'll use you. Taffy said about back then it was three thirty-five an hour. Yeah. So three thirty-five and three thirty-five is six seventy. They say six seventy hour with Kevin Jones. Yeah. Cause he he was so uh, wanting to show them what he could do. He was dedicated. And, 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 but they use it against him. He, he was dedicated you to the You got the right to remain silent. He, Anything he you do or say can and will be used against you. I've, I've been on a, in the heat of the night kick yeah. for about two weeks yeah. now. You see what I'm saying? So to the viewing audience, you got to be careful. Make sure they compensate you for who you are and how you roll. So, so, so um, Brother Hub, moving into um, this 2021 um, technology savvy era that Man. we in, right? Man. Right. You got artificial, you got artificial intelligence coming in. Mm -hmm. You got robots coming mm -hmm. in. You got all kinds of things mm -hmm. coming in. Mm -hmm. These people can tell you it's over with at any moment. Mm -hmm. You got COVID nineteen. Mm -hmm. You got essential workers versus non essential mm -hmm. workers. You got so many different mm -hmm. things coming in that's changing the game, the way mm -hmm. things work. Mm -hmm. You know, and we still trying to get back to mm -hmm. bring it back to where it was. Mm -hmm. It'll never be it, the way I it was. Told lady, it'll it'll yeah. never yeah. be like it was. Never. never. So and never. then. We talked about the freedom aspect of it. You know, no, I ain't knocking nobody with no job, but mm -hmm. I want, but uh, you know, I want people to start waking up. Mm -hmm. I want to start waking up. You sound the alarm. I want, I want to and, start and, waking and, up. And, and, I want to start because we got, we got, we got way too many businesses going mm -hmm. to the graveyard. Mm -hmm. We got way too mm -hmm. many books going to mm -hmm. the graveyard. Mm -hmm. We got way too many songs that was never wrote mm -hmm. going to the graveyard. Mm -hmm. That's never been created. Mm -hmm. You know, we're in a shortage. Mm -hmm. We're in a pan. We've been in a pandemic on businesses for years. So let me make this statement, and then I want you to share with the people. Because I saw a Facebook post where a guy sent you a shout out 
because 20 years ago you said you was going to do this and you doing that, and he's seeing you do it, and he really admires you. I don't know who the guy was, but I saw that Damon post. Damon Davis off the block. Right, right. Is he in Indy now? He in Indy. I do know him. I do know him. Yeah. So I wrote this down because this is what happened to my daughter with law school. You know, a lot of people that was close to her. I'm talking about close to you. A lot of people that was close to my daughter. Mm -hmm. I mean close, like relatives, mm -hmm. maybe even siblings. I, I don't want to go out on the limb and say siblings, but it might have been because oh, she called me shook. And I want you to deal with this. Mm -hmm. if, if I can convince you not to start your business, then it ain't meant for you. Because if, if it's really meant for you to start it, can't nobody stop you. And if God ordained you, he going to keep on whispering. Now, my daughter called me when it got time to go to law school because she had a lot of people in her ear. And I said, do you remember when my dad came and had a little seance and mm -hmm. prayed for you because you said you want to be a lawyer at 10 o'clock, 10, 10 years old? I said, do you remember that? She said, yeah. I said, have you ever changed from that since then? Well, all what you want? She said, no. I said, well, if you don't want to go to law school, then don't go. But if somebody else can convince you not to go, then it ain't in you to go. Is, does that make sense? It makes a lot of sense. I said it wrong, it, but. It makes a lot of sense. And deal I'm, with and that. I'm, I'm going to tell you why, mm -hmm. why it never threw me off my path. Mm -hmm even if I had to do it by myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because when I got ready to start to whip, mm -hmm. it was 11 people that said, hey man, I'm gonna be down with you. Mm -hmm. All kinds of barbers and cop talk. Mm -hmm. When me and Mio started, it was mm -hmm. me, Miel, and Teresa mm -hmm. in that big old shop. Mm -hmm. But the thing that made me wanna do it and stick on path was this. And when in insurance, we say, what's your why? Mm -hmm. What's your why? What mm -hmm. make you click? What make you tick? What mm -hmm. make you get up in the morning mm -hmm. and do it all over again? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, this was my why. I never, when you look in them, babies are never worried mm -hmm. until the parent look worried. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I came to my house, my apartment, and looked into my wife's eyes and my baby's eyes, and I didn't know what tomorrow was going to bring, I never wanted to be in that position again. Mm -hmm. So anytime that I kept on getting one door to open, a mm -hmm. small, just a small crack of a door to open for me, mm -hmm. and then this one opened enough for mm -hmm. me, and that one opened up for me, and and and, mm -hmm. and things started to flow. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. when you work at walking in alignment with what God wants you to do, things start to flow. Mm -hmm. And even when it's an obstacle, mm -hmm. something gonna happen mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. gonna make the make the uh, make the rock cry out. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The obstacle gonna get over the mm -hmm. way. You mm -hmm. know, out the way. You know what I'm saying? All kinds of stuff gonna start showing you that it's a sign mm -hmm. that you're moving in the right, right direction. direction. Mm -hmm. I never really put it all on money. I just had a guy, um, I just had the guys this past weekend on the radio program talk about the same subject with mm -hmm, me, right? Mm -hmm. And they talked about the whip, mm -hmm. and they talked about the absence of the whip and how it impacted the community, mm -hmm. okay? And so when we look at whip, I wasn't looking at it as Sean just making money. Mm -hmm. I looked at it as a wraparound mm -hmm. for the community. Mm -hmm. How can we be a benefit? Mm -hmm. And if I could be a benefit to my clientele, mm -hmm. then it was going to be a benefit to me. Mm -hmm. Because I'll be able to help more people mm -hmm. if if they was a benefit. Mm -hmm. But if they just drug the shop down, mm -hmm. then I can't have no resources to be able to help nobody. Mm -hmm. You know, and so and and so I guess that's what Damon seen. Mm -hmm. Damon seen to the fact that I come to man, I'm trying to do this here. Mm -hmm. Man, these people are talking about a Bentley. Mm -hmm. Man, I talked about a Bentley. 30 years ago, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because you got to have dreams. Mm -hmm. You got write the vision, mm -hmm. make it plain, mm -hmm. say it over life and death and the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. Say you're going to have a business. Mm -hmm. Go, you better not say it too much on the job you have a business. Right. They might get rid of you because right. people right. get intimidated right. because because you you believe in something that they can't even believe mm -hmm. in. I mean, my colonel was a full, he was a <laughs> lieutenant colonel, had been in about 26 years, making about nine racks, right? And he could not fathom. He could not fathom. See, he limited. He he tried to limit me to because, what he saw. He, I'm army. I'm a colonel. Urgh. Ain't nothing wrong with but that. He was stuck. But he, I mean, he I ain't going to say there. he was stuck. He was stuck. I ain't going to say he was stuck. He was, he was stuck because there I had, because I, he was all my in. My business partner, my original business partner, did about 26, 28 years. What did I just years. tell you John Lee said? Hold on, hold on, hold on. But that was their goal to make Sergeant Major. Like, like Edgar Brummett. And Scott Savage, I got them in a refereeing. But it, but it was two different paradigms. Edgar 
kind of hung with the, uh, uh, the refs around here who their whole dream was do a state tournament championship, right? So Edgar account, accomplished that in like 15 years, which is record time. It's most time it takes you 25 years. Scott hung with Sam Banks. Sam Banks was a Division I official and a very good one, right? So he told Scott, don't worry about that state tournament, right? It, it's cool, but you're good enough to go to college route. So Scott Savage in seven years did a Division I game with Sam Banks and Ed, Ed Altower. Neither one of them's wrong, right? Edgar Coppers, what he wanted to do, Scott accomplished what he wanted to do. The only difference was the state tournament paid about 150, 200, right? The Division One game paid about three racks. What happens is this, man. We, we, we. A lot of us that's connected say we God connected. Mm -hmm. We limit God. Mm -hmm. And I go back to mm -hmm. Miles Monroe mm -hmm. when he said he went to Germany mm -hmm. and and he got in, he, he got into the taxi cab and he him and his wife got into the taxi cab and it was a Mercedes Benz and the guy say the guy say um, he said man this is a nice car man I want to drive he said you want to drive you can drive he got it said come on Miles you can drive. And he said he got on the Autobahn, and he didn't really know what the Autobahn was, and he started driving 50, 60 miles an hour. He said, man, Miles, you got to speed up, man. You got to speed up. And Miles said, man, well, I mean, how fast can I go? He said, man, go faster. He said he got up to 80, 90 miles an hour. He said, man, you got to speed up, Miles. You got to speed up. Right. Miles started doing 120, 130. He said, Miles, you got to speed up. You got to speed up. Right. He started doing 160, 180. He said, wow, we, we rolling. Yeah. He said, man, this is the Autobahn. Right. You, can you can go as fast, fast as you, you want to go. Right. See, right. God <clears throat> designed us to go as fast as we want to go. Mm -hmm. But because of life mm -hmm. and the people surround mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. us with a small Midwestern mindset, as a man think. they limit you yeah. to what yeah. 30 miles an hour yeah. can do, yeah. Yeah. what 20 miles yeah. an hour can yeah. do, yeah. five miles an hour. Yeah. Now yeah. you're learning how to work out for dysfunction. Right. Dysfunction is cool. Right. Generation right. after generation right. after generation, right. can I back, we keep promoting can I back that up dysfunction. With, can I back that up with scripture real quick? Because we having fun, so I know time is flying. Because <laughs> we, we vibe and we ain't even hiccup the, ain't even uh, uh, breathe. But the Tower of Babel originated, Jason, because a group of people got together and they was going to build a stairway to heaven. And God said, man, I never seen nobody so on one accord. The minds was all on one accord. So they was building, and so God had to go down and change the language where they couldn't communicate. Because if he wouldn't have done that. They'd have built a stairway to heaven. And see, and that's the thing with community, right? When people don't, when the 1% when the don't want you to be on the same accord, mm -hmm. they confuse the language. Mm -hmm. So when you trying to learn the stock market, mm -hmm. you trying to learn real estate, you trying to do this here, they switch the language up on you. Mm -hmm. Now, here we know it as 10 or 4, mm -hmm. 7, 7, 11. 7, 11, 6, 8, 6, 8. Mm -hmm. they change the language, niner. they'll turn it into something. Ball. John Cooper with the left. See, they, they change the language on you. But in the hood, we know it as this. Nate with the 8. See? Oh, and, Roper. And so, so that is, that, and that, that, that's, that's good right yeah, there. Yeah. Because we limit ourselves, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. what we do is we limit them babies. One thing that I've told you in the gate, and, and, and I never said this before, and I mean, one thing that I've told you, I've said that before, but I, I have forgot something I want to go back to. Not on my watch started because of Kewan Carrington, but even deeper than that, that's the act that started it. But me setting up BLT and seeing all the moving targets and how important your barbershop was is why I started not on my watch. Yeah, yeah. The whip is heavily responsible Iconic. for a suit by soldier. That was why I was going to do it, but I had to have a reference mm. point, and I had to be with some, I wasn't no fool. I wasn't going to just open no store, didn't nobody know me. I've been going to the Army. So my friend that bugged me to come back here had a whole lot of influence, right? I made more money 
in the parking lot than I ever made in this. Because they ain't had no bills. <laughs> Mr. Pertle said, man, how that boy going to come up here and set up shop and ain't going to pay no rent? <laughs> <laughs> he got to pay some rent. <laughs> and, and, and so, but what I often tell you is I'm attracted to your mind and your face. I tell my mama this about you all the time. You'll see something that you want or you obtain, i.e. Yeah. insurance or i.e. barbershop or i.e. club or i.e. Uh, what's that thing you was in for a minute? F f clean energy and all oh, that. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. would have got your license pre-filled. Man, you'll see it and you'll make your faith line up with it. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, and faith could be money, whatever it is, you will make your faith and I'm attracted to that. Mm -hmm. I really am. Yeah. And so that's a, a gift that a lot of people don't have. But, you, but in order for people to follow, mm -hmm. as the leader, you mm -hmm. got to believe it. Mm -hmm. Because they're going to mm -hmm. soon understand mm -hmm. that you don't even believe in mm -hmm. what you're even talking about. Because mm -hmm. it's going to show up. Mm -hmm. Well, it's showing up now in it's our community. It's going to show up. A lot of people got the title. It's going to show up. A lot of people got titles, man. I'm going to keep telling you about right. Cadillac, like, man. I've right. been in the Honda Accord right. Right. for the last 28 right. years. But the preacher came up with his window <laughs> busted and the two tires broken. And, I was there. And, and the dope boy told him, man, how you going to tell me about God? Man, give me here, go get you some tires. Reverend. And leave our school. Yeah. Leave Centennial. Yeah. Yeah. Because they, they understand yeah. it's where, where the rubber meet the road yeah. at, man. Yeah. These people won't touch it, see yeah. it, feel it, man. Mm -hmm. Touch it, see it, feel it. And you got to be on that. Mm -hmm. So um, I thank the Lord for you. Yes, sir. I thank the Lord for you. Yes, I thank sir. the Lord for you, you, and you. I thank the Lord, Brother Hub. I thank you for the program today. Yeah. Jason, I thank you as always. I thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Let, Let the, the Truth, Truth Be Told. Be told. Peace. Peace, peace.